Pride was the first sin committed. It is the root of the original sin. Adam and Eve believed the serpent's lie that God didn't want them to be like him, when in fact they already were made in his image and likeness. They gave in to pride by grasping for what they believed the Father desired to keep from them. Pride is the summit of self-love. It is directly opposed to submission to God. Pride makes us unwilling to acknowledge dependence on God. It was pride that kept Lucifer, the angel of light, from submitting to God. He saw that the Son of God would become human through Our Lady and would be raised in a human family with St. Joseph. He would not serve a God who would stoop to the level of humanity. He made a free and eternal choice to reject God. Pride keeps us from acknowledging our weaknesses and poverty. In fact, pride encourages us to hide our poverty from the world because pride sees poverty as unlovable. Pride encourages us to take personal credit for the gifts that God gives us. It desires us to glorify ourselves and not the God who gave us such gifts. Pride tempts us to minimize our defects and magnify the defects of others. The life of Saint Joseph is a witness to us of the virtue of humility which overcomes the vice of pride. In Father Renero Cantalamesa's Advent Retreat to Pope Francis and the Roman Curia in 2013, he defined the meaning of humility. The word humility has two fundamental meanings. One objective, which indicates in fact lowliness, littleness, or poverty, and one subjective, which indicates the feeling and recognition that one has of one's own littleness. Let us contemplate the objective humility of Saint Joseph within the Annunciation by the angel after he had decided to quietly divorce Mary. Quote, Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. Unquote. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. This was Matthew chapter 1. When St. Joseph awoke from the dream, he humbly set aside his will to obey the will of God. Quote, Instead of defending himself and demanding his rights, Joseph opts for a solution that represents an enormous sacrifice for him. This was from Pope Francis's homily in December of 2013. Unlike Lucifer, who was dominated by pride, Joseph made a free and humble choice to serve God. Joseph was a man who always listened to God's voice, profoundly sensitive to his hidden will, a man attentive to the messages that came to him from the depths of his heart and from above. He did not persist in pursuing his own plan for his life. He did not allow rancor to poison his soul, but was ready to place himself at the service of the thing that was presented to him in a disconcerting way. That was from Pope Francis's homily in December of 2013. St. Joseph's life is a witness to us of humble dependence, submission, and attachment to the Lord's will. Saint Joseph, teach us to be humble of heart. Litany of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. 
Father all-powerful, have mercy mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save Save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify Sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Spirit, proceeding from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty and innocence, have have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier, have have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the Church, have have mercy on us. Gift of God, the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inspire us with horror of sin, have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth, have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls, Have have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasures of thy graces. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, grant us the merits of all virtues. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Holy Spirit, be thou our everlasting reward. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, send us thy Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us the spirit of wisdom and piety. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that your divine spirit may enlighten, inflame, and purify us, that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew and make us fruitful in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who with you in the unity of the same spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. The Litany of Humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, Deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred, Deliver me, Jesus. 
from the desire of being consulted. Deliver, Deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged. Deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected. Deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Amen.